Hello everyone, Absent Friend here, and we're coming at you from the game table because we have reached 300 subscribers. How cool is that? So as a celebration, we're going to play Prince John solo. So here we go. This isn't my first time playing a solo match. I've done uh, both Ursula and Maleficent. So now we're going to do Prince John. If you are just now tuning into the uh, channel, welcome. And if you've never seen me do a solo match before, uh, I'll explain a little bit about how I do a solo match versus how a lot of other people do solo matches. Um, so I'm going to play the game as usual. Uh, the only uh, difference is I can only go to 20 turns. I must win and complete Prince John's objective in 20 turns. So we shall see. Prince John is a very slow character, so this may be tricky. And I will be uh, fading myself every other turn. So every time my counter here ends an even turn, I will fade myself. And then of course I will be uh, giving myself the most devastating fate card from that draw. Speaking of fates, let me go ahead and shuffle this deck up. Gosh, 300 subscribers, I can't believe it. I never really thought it would actually even make 100, and here we are, so thank you all for who have subscribed. And if you haven't subscribed yet, go ahead and hit that button real quick before we get started here, and that way you can just sit back and enjoy and watch, and uh, hopefully maybe even be inspired to do your own solo villainous matches. Because uh, I know sometimes it's hard to get people in, or at least, you know, in my experience, uh, I don't have a lot of friends who like to play uh, games like this, so occasionally I do, and every once in a while I try to get something going, and uh, it is a lot of fun, but every once in a while I just got to get a hankering for it, or maybe you do have some regular friends and uh, you just want to get some practice in. This is a good way to practice your strategies and everything else before playing with uh, actual other people. And the way I play it is incredibly difficult uh, being faded every other turn, so it really, really makes you have to um, up your game some a little bit and challenge yourself to get better and better. All right, so let's get to it, shall we? Turn one. Let's see what kind of cards I've been given this turn. Well, hmm. the Golden Arrow. This is a great card. These allies, you know, are pretty good. And Greed. Now, here's a condition. How am I going to condition myself? Well, if I ever have six or more power, I'll gain three power. Now, this is kind of a... Um, a weird card because Prince John will almost always have six or more power. So, but there's only two of these and more than likely you're going to be playing other people who will be gaining six power uh, unless they're really, really crafty or really stingy with their power. So who knows? But um, I won't be having it right away, but I'm going to hang on to it. So, but I need to discard some stuff. So we're going to go here to the jail. We're going to gain three power and we are going to discard you people. And we're gonna keep the golden arrow because that's a free card and it's really, really good to use against uh, uh, some, actually, you know what? I'm actually gonna keep Nutsy because he's a cheap ally. And, uh, well, no, 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 no. I'm not changing my strategy. Um, but I am gonna go ahead and discard this. And if you hear my cat, I'm sorry. He's not happy with me right now. Um, so, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and discard that because it's just going, I won't be getting it for a while and I, no, I'm gonna keep it. This is tough. Prince John is tough to get started with, but that's okay. All right, so I've discarded, I didn't play anything. So I'm just gonna go ahead and keep going. Uh, here we go. These are the allies and cards that we wanna play. So turn two, I'm gonna go to uh, Friar Tuck's Church, gain two power, and for one, I'm going to play Friar, or the Warrant, if you've ever seen um, where in the world is Carmen San Diego uh, game show? You know exactly what I'm referencing. If you haven't, uh, go on YouTube and look it up. It's fantastic. Uh, okay, so that was my first card. And then for my second card, I am playing the Sheriff of Nottingham. And I'm actually going to put start him in the jail. So hopefully that when heroes come out, they will be more than likely put on these spaces. And then he can just hop over and gain some power. All right. And so we're going to keep... These two for now, and I don't need to move anything or anybody, so it's time to be faded. So let's see what we got. I'm gonna move. I'm gonna move my hand cards. And 
show. Oh dear. Okay, well, Steal from the Rich can't be played because there are no heroes. However, Lady Cluck is here. And she is going to... She is not going to let Prince John get that two power. She is going to, though, however, cover up his... Uh, yeah, it's... Oh. Prince John doesn't really discard very much, so let's just put him here, and that way he can't fate. Even though, weird, uh... But if I was playing against Prince John, that's probably what I would do. Okay. So, but she can't be moved to the jail, so she has to stay there unless she is deaded. All right, so, moving on to... Oh, wait, gotta draw back to four. All right, so, now I have someone that I should probably get rid of, but maybe not. Is She's not really that detrimental right now. So, first things first, before I move on my next turn, I'm going to move the Sheriff of Nottingham here to gain one power. All right. And then I'm going to move... Well, we're just going to move back to the jail. Gain three. And I still don't have six power. See, you know, you hold on to this for a while and maybe you might not get to use it very well. But I'm going to put out another... The Warrant! And then I'm going to... Oh, I can't do anything else. That's it, isn't it? All right, I'm going to save these Rhino Guards because they might need to be used against um, her up there. Okay, so, next turn. Oh, here's another one. It says, uh, three or more allies in the realm. I may play an ally for free. So if I ever gain, get three allies, then I'll be able to play a free ally uh, for that one. So that's good. Okay, so, uh, turn four. Well, we're just gonna head right back to here. Gain two power. And we have six power. So at the end of this turn, I'm going to cash in that, but I can't do it until between turns uh, because that's how that's how those work. Uh, but I am going to go ahead and um, I forgot to move the sheriff. Dang it! Oh well, um, no big deal. I'm going to go ahead and for um, three power, go ahead and play the Rhino Guards. And for my second card, I'm going to give them the Golden Arrow. Which doesn't give them any strength, but it does, uh, if they defeat somebody, uh, I gain two power. So, it's always good to gain power. First on these power. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and I can't discard, so uh, here's what I'll do. I'm going to move the Sheriff here with that action. And that way I can move him back on the next turn. Alright, so... Okay, let's drop to four, two, three. Oh, look at those bows and arrows. Those are gonna come in very handy to um, take her out and not lose my allies. All right, and beautiful love in taxes is also a good thing to have. All right, but we're about to be faded, so here we go. Uh, no, not Robin Hood. Oh wait, let me move. There we go, so y'all can see. But it's Robin Hood. We don't like Robin Hood, do we? Oh dear. Okay. Well, and I could use the the steal from the rich again, but Robin Hood is more devastating. And um, well, you know, since he will allow, or since he reduces the amount of power, Prince John will only gain one power from this war instead of two. So that's not a bad way to play that uh, if Robin Hood comes out. And now I've covered up his uh, double card play action, which is. And two power gain, which is also very, very bad. All right, so, uh, oh wait, I should not have drawn this many cards. When I drew, I should have only drawn these. You go back there. Okay, because I still technically have greed in my hand. Okay, so the turn is over. I'm going to start, I'm in between turns. Now I'm going to play greed because I did have six power, but I only gained two instead of six or three. So that's another reason why, why Robin Hood is so hurtful. Okay, so now we're gonna go over here and we're going to, you know what? We're just gonna go ahead and play the bow and arrows. Now the Rhino Guards have uh, five strength 
And whenever they're used to um, dead somebody, they will dead. Uh, they won't. Um, they won't be discarded. So there's that. And I forgot to move the sheriff again, but it doesn't matter because I won't get any power anyway. So even though I was really targeting her, she's got to go. So that's what we're going to do next. Okay. So um, did I even gain power? Yeah, I gained power. But I gained three when I should have only gained two, didn't I? Yep. Uh, that's what I did. Okay. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and discard this because it's just kind of getting in the way. And it's going to be a while before I even get three more allies. So, next turn. Oh, thank gosh, the crown. Okay. And moving the hero to the jail, that's even better. All right, so here's what we're going to do. We are going to head on over to here. We are going to play for two power in prison to move Robin Hood to the jail. And now I've freed up those actions. I can only gain one power though. And for that one, I'm going to play the crown here. Best place to play it since you have the double cards. And then I'm going to move the rental guards here. And I forgot to move. Oh, well, I still can't. It doesn't matter because I still can't gain the power. So it doesn't matter that I forget to do that. Okay. So that was turn. That's turn six. Whoops. Okay, so this is turn six. I'm gonna be faded here at the end. All right, so let's see. I need some room here so I don't uh, fall off the screen. Hopefully y'all can still see. Okay, so next. Go here. Oh, the wolf archers. They, these are lovely allies to play and uh, I'll, I'll be playing them soon. Okay, so. Um, oh, it's time for a new fate, okay. Now would be a good time. Well, no, because I still only have two power. Okay, let me move these out of the way. And let me put these guys down. Well, both are not that great. Mm, I guess in this instance, Skippy would probably be the better one. And once again, since Robin Hood is out, we'll just use him to cover up this action again. He gains only one from that instead of too. So that's okay. All right. So first things first, turn seven. Off to Nottingham. I'm going to play beautiful, lovely taxes, even though I only gained two from it, but I'm going to gain two anyway, even if I do my next thing. So my next thing is to use a Vanquish Robin Hood with my, my Rhino Guards, which instead of discarding them, I discard the Bow and Arrows. And now they're back to four. But since they, um, since I use this ally to defeat Robin Hood, I gain two and I don't lose the Golden Arrows because I use the, I didn't discard the ally. You see how that works? Look at that. I love doing that combo. It's fun. All right. So Robin Hood is gone and now, Sheriff of Nottingham can be used again, uh, but that's all I can do on that turn. So, turn eight. Let's go ahead and first of all move the Sheriff of Nottingham to Nottingham to gain one power for Lady Clark there. And let me go ahead and start sorting my power here. Piles of five. There's five there. And then I only have three there, so I'm eight. Eight power right now. I could go to the jail and get me some more, but I don't want to do that because I want to go to uh, Friar Tuck's church. And I'm going to move the rhino guards, these rhino guards over here. And then for two power instead of three because of my crown, I'm gonna play more rhino guards here. Okay, everybody see how that worked? All right, so that's turn eight. And we are about to get faded again. Oh, there's Trigger. Trigger's a great ally uh, when he's by himself. All right, new fate. Let me make some room here. 
Oh, shoot. King Richard or the Clever Disguise. Well, the Clever Disguise would be good because um, the other players know I'm about to try to take out some people, so I could definitely put a Clever Disguise on Lady Cluck. But being able to not play effects is just as bad. It might be better to play the Clever Disguise. No, we better play King Richard because he's, he's the better of the two. And we're gonna put him here so he doesn't activate the, um, the other warrant. Okay, all right, turn nine. Uh, almost halfway through and not doing too hot, so let's see what we're gonna do now. It's time to um, get rid of you, Skippy. Sorry to say. All right, so we're gonna go here. Oh, here my here's my hand. Okay, so my first card I'm going to, or my only card, I'm gonna play bow and arrows on these guys. And even though they don't really need the strength, they do. I'm gonna use them to uh, bow and arrow Skippy. And so the bow and arrows go away, but Skippy does not. Or Skippy goes, the bow and arrows go, but the rhino guards don't. All right, so there's that. And so now I've freed up that place. Sir Hiss would be really, really good right now, but that's okay. All right, so I played a card, I vanquished. That's all I can do. Turn 10. Let's go back to, oh, that's my hand. Oh, goody. I can actually use my, this card now. Okay, so I will be using this at the end of turn 10 in a second. Okay, so let's go ahead and go back to Fire Tux Church, gain two, and then I'm going to play for two different cards. They're only one a piece, so they cost me the two that I just gained and I'm playing Wolf Archers there. So that way they cover the entire board. And so there's that. We're getting kind of cramped, aren't we? But that's okay, that's okay, we'll be fine. All right, so this will be, I think that's all I wanna do. Oh, I'm gonna move you over here. So that way I can use you next turn. I use that to move him. Okay, so it's the end of my turn. I'm going to, oh, and I don't have the six. Okay, but I could, no, I can't move King Richard because he's in effect. Crap. All right, yeah, it's probably time to take him out. And so yeah, that's probably that's exactly what we're gonna do. Okay, first things first though. Oh, I gotta paint myself. My hand. Let's see, what do I have? Oh, the Maid, Maid Marion and the Clever Disguise. Hmm. In this instance, Clever Disguise on King Richard is the better play, is the better play, better play. Okay, so, all right. Before my turn begins, I'm going to move the Sheriff here, gain one. And then I'm going to go, what is it? oh, okay. Now I'm gonna go here and pay two to remove this clever disguise. And then I'm going to use the rhino guards and the wolf archers to off um, what's his name? King Richard. Matter of fact, we're gonna use these wolf archers, not these. We'll keep these. Okay, so that's six strength against his five. So he's gone. The golden arrow is gone, but I do gain the two power. So that's good. And goodness gracious. Okay, so. Uh, I believe that's it. Did I play a card? I did not play a card, but I can play a card now. And I actually, I, I, I achieved both of these, but I'm just gonna go ahead and play 
So I have, I have got six power, so I'm definitely gonna be able to use both of these cards at the end of this turn. Um, Cause now it's turn 11, which that's what I'm taking, that's what I'm doing, okay. All right, so I'm going to play four two. We're gonna go ahead and play trigger. There. Okay. Okay, and um, that's all I can do on that turn. Okay, but before we do our next turn, uh, I will drop four. And before we start turn 12, we are now going to play, because I have three or more allies, I get to play an ally for, I don't have an ally for free, dang it. Okay, well, that's all right. I'll still use my grade and gain three power. Okay. All right, turn 12. Oh, I don't gain any cards. Let's go here. All right. Well, I can't really do anything, so actually I'm not gonna go there. I'm gonna go here. Gain three power. And we're just gonna go ahead and discard this. And discard these. Get a whole fresh new hand. I'm gonna, uh, okay. All right. So let's get faded. Thing going so well, is it? Steal from the rich. Now we can finally do the steal from the rich. Okay. So we're gonna be taking four power and putting it on Lady Cluck. So now she must go. All right, so let's move you here before I start my next turn. And let's go here. And the combined strength of these two take out, see, four. Oh no, it's only six because he's got negative one. No. Okay, then we're not doing that. We're gonna go over here instead. Gain two power and move these rhino guards there. And actually I have a better idea. Let's go backwards a little bit. Oh, no, 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 this will work out, this will work out. Okay, so we're just gonna do this. Nope, no we're not. We are gonna do this, okay. So, sorry, we're gonna move there. Okay. Oh, make up your mind, I know. All right, so for my first card, which cost, which will be free because of my crown, I'm playing the warrant, my third warrant. And then for one, I'm going to play Intimidation and I'm going to perform a Vanquish action, but I do not discard the allies used to defeat the hero. So all these allies are being used and none of them are Discarded. So I get my power back. Lady Cluck is tarred and feathered. Not really. Plucked and feathered. Feathered, plucked, stir fried, and served for dinner. Okay. Whew. That was, that was a good one. Okay, so I play both my cards. I don't want to move anybody. So actually, no, we're gonna move Nutsy, or Trigger, here. See, it's always good to move your heroes into the jail and have all your allies here and then just take them out there, except with the exception of Lady Cluck, and she can't be jailed. Or I guess Prince, uh, or Prince, King Richard can't be jailed because you can't play effects and that's an effect card. So those two cards are the only ones that can't be jailed. Uh, so anyway, all right, turn over. And here we go. Oh no, beautiful, lovely taxes, but no heroes. That's all right. Go over here. Gain three. Uh, two, three. And um, we're going to discard these two. And we're gonna go ahead and play these wolf archers. 
No, we're not. We're gonna hold off on that one. And, uh-oh, we've come, oh, there you are, finally. Very bottom. Okay, time to be faded. Oh dear. Okay, Little John. Take a, yeah, Little John's the better of the three. But it's probably a good idea to put him here, even though we would gain the two power. But he's about to, well, first he'll take away the four. So yeah, that's okay. All right, so we are going to go, or what are we gonna do? Turn 15. We're gonna go over here. Are we? No, we're gonna go here. For one, I'm going to play Sir Hiss. I may perform one action that is covered by a hero at that location, which you bet I'm going to. But first, I'm going to move these Rhino Guards here. And then I'm going to use my second. I'm going to use Sir Hiss to gain two power. Because I need to gain power. I'm getting desperate. Okay. That's the end of turn 15. Turn 16. Gain three. And I'm gonna save these because, oh, oh, crud, I forgot to, hang on. Hang on, let's back up a second. Reverse. It'll be turn 16 in a minute. No memento. Gotta do a little shuffling here, went through my entire deck. Yeah, Prince John is very, very slow, but he's also sneaky. If you play him well and kind of keep to yourself and, uh, you know, really just, unless the other players just need to be faded desperately, just don't bother them. And the, probably they won't bother you unless you're playing with the people that I play with and they constantly bother me because they do nothing but fake me all the time. Even when the other person is about to win, no, let's fake me instead. I don't care if the other person wins, he must lose. Anyway, okay, so now I've drawn my hand. Before I move, you go here, gain a power. Okay, now then, uh, we're gonna go over here. We're gonna gain three. And we are going to um, play for one card, set a trap. We're gonna move says you may move an ally to any location, period, perform a vanquish action. So that tells me that I don't have to move anybody, but I can perform a vanquish action. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna perform a vanquish action, these rhino guards and these wolf archers combined, take out French John and I get my power back. And we are now getting close to, oh wait, this is turn 17. Um, we're getting close. Wait, is this turn 17? No, this is turn 16. I'm gonna be faded at the end of this, sorry. Okay, so I played my card, I gained my three. I should have, I'm gonna hold on to these. I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Okay, so for fading, we have Alan Adele. But she's good to keep the other heroes alive. Even if he's in jail, his effect is uh, ongoing. It's always nice to have heroes out that have ongoing effects instead of just a single effect that happens only once when they come out and they're not in use anymore. But Prince John is getting close to victory, so it, we need to get things, we need to get heroes out and we need to find ways to get uh, things. Ah, look who came back. So we're actually gonna play him there, so Prince John cannot gain any power, and he's gonna steal that. Okay, so Alan and Dale did not get played, and that's a shame. 
Okay, so turn 17, you go here, gain one, and uh, trigger by himself can't do that. Oh, that's my hand. So, we're gonna go here, and for one, Wolf Archers. And for zero, beautiful, lovely taxes, even though it gives me one. Um, but free power is free power, right? Okay. And then, yeah. Yeah. Did I get my two power? I don't think I did, but let's just say I didn't. I did and forgot about it, so that's okay. All right. There, ooh, the golden arrow. Perfect timing. Turn 18. We're gonna go here. Gain one. And for zero, we're gonna put this on uh, trigger there. And then I'm going to use trigger plus wolf archers to vanquish little John. A lot of people named John in this. All right. Which means I gain my four power back. I'm over 20. And we shall see what happens on the next fate action. Okay. All right, let's see what happens. This is it, ladies and gentlemen. If I avoid a detrimental fate, I will win the game. I win the game. Neither of these will um, take away power. So there you have it. Man, that was close. That's a good one, though. My goodness. Okay. So there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. I hope you all enjoyed that. And um, hopefully you'll come back and uh, watch the rest of my guides. I'm working on Lady Tremaine right now. And so keep, an, uh, keep out. Watch for that. Make sure you ring that bell so that way you can see uh, when it comes out. And you'll get a, a notification. And um, yeah, so thanks very much for playing. Or playing. I played, you watch. So thanks so much for watching. And um, I will see y'all on the other side. All right, bye-bye.